Today we're trying to set the world record for most guest world records. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. That's right, what's the world record for best YouTube video? Probably this one. Yeah. Today we're gonna get a world record, like an idea for a world record, and try to guess the number yeah. that it is. Yes. Closest to the number gets the point. Uh -huh. Me versus Graydon versus you. Whoever you are, okay? It doesn't have to be a specific person. It's really against all of you. The lot of you. All right, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff, you know. If one of us gets it spot on, I propose that they get three points. They can either give them to themselves or take them away from their opponent. I love that. I yeah, love that, isn't that idea. Fun? Yeah, it's kind of like a it's kind of like cutthroat <laughs> kitchen. DJ Tickley, what's the first one? The world record for the oldest person to ever live. My guess is this is gonna be in years and not like the name of the person. <laughs> Eldar. <laughs> Eldar? Just That's like it sounds a, like Elder? No. It sounds like an old man's name. I was gonna guess Margaret. So right. this is in years, and it's gonna be over a hundred. You don't know that? I know someone who's a hundred, so. Who? Ron. Ron who? I don't know his last name. He's a regular at the sweatshop. At the sweatshop? Yeah. It's the new gym I've been going to. Wait, so he's a regular at the gym? Yeah. We build sneakers. That's not a gym. <laughs> that's, it's, it's, that's just a sweatshop. It's a lot of work. I know. I mean, yeah. Okay, sure. It's an incredible amount of work. And we don't get paid. We go there voluntarily. They don't call the stamp factory the gym just because we work hard over there. You do get a paycheck, though, and benefits. Absolutely. But you don't get a paycheck from the gym. Exactly. That's why it's the gym. That's why the sweatshop I go to is the gym. You got to quit that gym. I'm getting yeah. so strong, though. You don't <laughs> Yeah, see? That's what I mean. Yeah, you don't even look better. <laughs> yeah, you don't look better. So. Three, two, one. Put 128. I put 118. It is 122 years. You're closer. I am. Wow. 122, man. Wow. You'd be born in 1901. If, yeah, if they're alive now. Wow. Yeah. Is this person still alive? No. Uh -oh. oh, there she is. Wow. What was her name? Willoughby? Uh, Jean-Louise Calment. She's French. Oh, of course she is. She probably enjoyed a nice Beaujolais up until her last breath. Yeah. Wow. Doesn't look that old. I know, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> For what I was expecting, you know? If it was a guy, he'd be a skeleton at that point. <laughs> she looks like she could still be sweet. Yes. Doesn't look particularly sweet, especially in the photo on the left. <laughs> she seems to be asleep at her own birthday party, but she made it, and that's what's important. That's a classy cake they got, too. Yeah, what is that? Is that like... Glass or yeah. something. <laughs> it's like a bong. It's all she could eat <laughs> at that point was glass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, rest in peace to the oldest woman of all time. And that's from us at Hive Mind. Rest yeah. in peace, Jean-Louis. <laughs> On to the next one. Let's hope that the longest person to ever, the oldest person to ever live is alive now. I want people to keep on living. Yes. Yep. Hopefully they're hot too. All right, this one is the most children born to one mother. Oh man. The mommy of most. So Octo Mom, we know about her. She had eight at one time. Totally. This is across an entire life. Wow. This could be Al Pacino. Yeah, that'd be father though. He is kind of mother though with the way he's been slain. He's mothering? Is he mothering right now? No, he looks disgusting. He looks like a glass of spit. It was weird. Like, no one reads these books anymore, but God, what a book this was like in our heyday. You got your hands on a Guinness oh, World yeah. Record book in like third grade. Scholastic fuck, book fair. Fuck it. Right off the afternoon, you were just looking through that sucker we, until you found the picture of the guy with the fingernails. That's the one. Everybody yeah. wanted that one, and I agree. And the books were like holographic on the front. Oh, yeah. You'd go to the Scholastic book fair. You'd finally convince your parents to to buy you the Guinness Book of World Records, mm -hmm. you'd go home and you'd sit and just eat those erasers that you'd buy too. Yes. Pop them like popcorn, you'd be flipping through it and you'd be like, oh my God, this guy turned himself into a deer? <laughs> Why is that a world record? Yeah. Then you realize you got the Animorphs book instead, and... and you still had a good day. Yeah, you still had a good day. But. <laughs> and now what are the kids on? Instagram? Oh, yeah, look at it. Let's get the world record for, for most hashtags. You know? <laughs> Let's get the... Although I've got the world record for uh, cutest selfie. Uh, kill like, me. come on, kill me already, yeah. you know what I mean? Put me out of my life. World record for Phoebe Bridgers, you know? <laughs> Oh, who's the most ha Maddie Healy? Yeah. It's like, it's what? Like what? That, 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 what? what does that even mean? Yeah. In my day, we had a guy with fingernails that were a mile long. Now what are we doing? T-Swifty, dance challenge, ice spice, rubbing your butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I like it. Right. But it's, it's not as wholesome as it's the shit I had as a kid. As the long fingernails. We had Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Now they got Pornhub. Well, those two things 
you can put them together. Oh, brother. <laughs> what a cocktail of an evening that is. You know who this could be? Nicki Minaj. She definitely has the most children in the rap game. I'll say that. Well much. said, man. Very brave, too. Very brave. 3, 2, 1. 31. 44. It is 69. <laughs> 69! She had to stop there. That's awesome. Tell me she is not pregnant. <laughs> I like that number. She died in 1782. Oh, rest in peace. How are they even sure? Church. How did they records. keep track of this stuff? Back Church, then? man. Yeah, okay, whatever. I did want to say that she had 27 confinements. She gave birth to 16 pairs of twins, seven sets of triplets, and four sets of quadruplets. Baloney. I hate to ask this because I don't know much about the 1700s. Was this her job? <laughs> like, was she just yeah. kid haver? It was to one guy, though. It was to this guy named Fedor Vislaviev. What was her name? It does not say her name on the World Records website. Really? She's nameless. But he, he you know about Fedor. <sighs> So that makes it sound like then the father one is higher than that. Oh, yeah. Dudes are monsters, man. Especially if we're going back to those times. I didn't know the Guinness Book of World Records was going back into history. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. That seems like kind of a cheat code. <laughs> <laughs> were you sure she wasn't the oldest woman ever? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is kind of like, you know, you have a couple kids, you find out you hate them, and you don't want to parent them. And so instead of running away, you can just have like 67 other kids, and then no one's going to blame you for being a bad parent. That's an insane route to take. I know, but I'm saying it's an alternative <laughs> route. I'm not saying it's a good route. Maybe she loved children so much that she was like, as many as I can have, please. Yeah, sure looks like she loved children. She looks like a piece of driftwood. <laughs> Looks like an oak tree that's been floating down the river for 108 years. Yeah, she's been through a lot. Four sets of quadruplets. She only had 35 births and 69 children. I mean, Fyodor had to have some sort of magic spunk, too. Well, absolutely. You know, you don't They just... were like the two most fertile people of all time. <laughs> <laughs> he got her pregnant just from walking in the door one day. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm home. She's like, oh, shit. Okay, here's a realistic one. The longest time holding breath underwater. David Blaine did this, right? For like a week. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is he the record holder or no? No. Okay. How long do you think you can hold your breath? An hour or two, probably. I think I can hold my breath for like... 15 seconds. I'm serious. I have like, I see the scenarios in movies where they're like, all right, last time. And then they like go through a tunnel, come up the other side, swim up to the top of the ocean. I am toast. If yeah. I'm on a sinking ship, I'm finding the nearest bottle of whiskey, and putting on a whole lot of red. <laughs> That's what you're going out to? It is a wrap for me, man. Rack star me. <laughs> if I'm on a sinking ship, I'm falling in love with one of the passengers. And then she and I are going to share a little piece of door. Even though it's very cold, I will I'll be in the water. And then eventually I'm going to let her survive and I will sink to the bottom a hero. <laughs> That's my idea for a sinking ship story. If I'm on a sinking ship, I must have opposed the Federal Reserve. Real ones out there, no. Three, two, one. 16 minutes. 18 minutes. Is 24 minutes and 37.36 seconds. That's an episode of Always Sunny. <laughs> yeah. Put on an episode of Always Sunny and hold your breath through the whole thing. Be hard not to laugh. It would be. <laughs> it would be hard not to laugh. You are winning handedly in this game so far. Uh, I figured I'd have a better grasp on like records and stuff, seeing as how many I have. Look at this guy. Wow, he's cute. Yeah. Look at how he's serving in that second photo. <laughs> what is this pose? <laughs> is this like maybe he's doing a massage that helps him hold his breath? He's covering his gills. <laughs> he doesn't want people to know how he got that record. You yeah. know, he goes, oh, here, wait, before you take it. <laughs> yeah, he, this guy looks like a problem, Loki. He is cute, <laughs> yeah. but he looks like a problem. He looks like he could drink way more than he, you would expect him to. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he keeps ordering gin and tonics. You're like, you are right, Larry. <sighs> ah, long day at the pool. <laughs> All right, now we've got the world record for the most deaths in a movie career. So we're guessing an actor here? This one is a person who played a character that has died in the movies the most out of everyone. Okay, okay. so it's an actor, but we're not guessing the actor, we're guessing the amount of deaths. Yes. Okay. Would we know the name of the person? Yes, I know who it is. Wow. Let's rule out who it's not. Okay. Matthew Broderick. 
Hulk. Probably not him. You're right. He got impaled in the second Lord of the Rings, but I think that's his only death. It's not going to be a lot of people in their lead role that die unless it's the end of the movie. True. I'm sure there's an extra somewhere who's like, I think I got them beat. I've been uncredited, but I die in everything I'm in because yeah. nobody knows my name. Roadkill Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> 3, 2, 1. 77. 39. It is 61. Nice. Finally, I got On one. the board. And who is it? Christopher Lee. Oh, oh, really? Christopher Lee was in Lord of the Rings. How about that? How about that? And the original Wicker Man. God, he is fucking... Ugh. He's got a skin tag somewhere. I like him. Rest in peace. He's dead. Rest in peace. And his final role, he died in that one too. Yeah. Make it 62. <laughs> All right, the world record for the most rotating puzzle cubes solved on a skateboard. This is Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rotating puzzle cubes. <laughs> Worried about Rubik coming for them. Solved on a skateboard. So does this mean like one skateboard ride and they're solving them? Or like, <laughs> I'm is saying, it, when does it like, end? Yeah, what are, this is like one of those stupid like carnival ones. Yeah. <laughs> where it's like, oh, I bet this has never been done. It's like, yeah, nobody gives a shit to try. Yes. This could be any number. Like, I don't really understand the metrics. It doesn't even say that the skateboard has to be moving. It could be a stationary skateboard. Still hard to balance, I guess. Aren't you related to Tony Hawk? Yeah, he's my uncle. You'd think some of that poison would drip through. Well, Tony doesn't have very good problem solving skills, so he would never be able to compete for this. Some people's minds work that way and they can do Rubik's Cubes. Logic, for instance. And while Uncle Tony may be known for his balance, one thing he never could figure out was balance and work and family. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Dismissive father. I kind hate of. your family. Why do you hate my family? Don't answer that. They're awesome. I love them. <coughs> God bless thee. Three, two, one. I put 27. 84. 500. <laughs> 500. Flat. Yes, yeah. 500. You just yeah. stop that, I suppose. 500? That's so stupid. And I would solve 500 <laughs> cubes. And I would solve 500 more just, just to, to be the that. man who solved 1,000 cubes and rode on a skateboard. Oh. La, da, da, la, da. <laughs> oh, is this the kid Leroy? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Leroy. Man of many talents. How have they not gotten him to do a LaCroix sponsorship? Yeah, the kid LaCroix. I agree. <laughs> Completely agree. What's up? I'm the kid LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> He's Australian, if that helps. You were like, I'm the kid LaCroix. Like, maybe it's like, you know. I did go to the car. Like that? I don't endorse that. Okay. I don't think Australians sound like that. I don't know what they sound like. Next record is the most songs on a digital album. Huh, I'm trying to think if there's going to be like a one album that has this many songs or if somebody did that whole thing where they combine a million songs they've released and just put it all out on one, one album. Right. Because it says digital album. Yeah, the essential blank. And nice. it's like 700 songs. And there's not like a cap on this either. Yeah. You know, you could... No cap. What? No cap? That's not really like... Well, that's just what people... Like, that's what a lot of people yeah, say. You'd say that, like, if you thought I was lying or telling the truth, like, whatever. Oh, like, I'd be like, that's a sick-ass car, no cap. Right. Like, that's a convertible, like, no cap. Like, there's no cap on the car. I guess, yeah. <laughs> or, like, oh, look at your your tires are mi missing a hub, no cap. Yeah. Should be on there. The baby ain't wearing a hat. No cap. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, but that's not really slang. That's just literal. Uh oh. Like this ship doesn't have anybody steering it. No cap. <laughs> yeah, man. You are sick in the head. Really? I'm sick in the head. Yeah. Me. I'm sick in the head. I hat. What? I, I said it. <laughs> it's marker. No cap. Three, two, one. Twenty nine hundred. Seven hundred and thirty two. It is a thousand. Is it Mac DeMarco? No. Who is it? It is a band named Pocket Gods. I like that. I did get curious and look at it on Spotify. Most of the songs are just like 31 seconds. Oh, so they, this was their whole thing. Yeah. This was a hack job. Yeah, I was going to say, um, they also have the world record for the most studio albums released digitally and are in the process of waiting for the world's longest song. Oh, that one's going to take a while, so... <laughs> Now I'm seeing this cover art here has like a Spotify thing. So it's like they did the 31 second rule as in like it counts as a song if it's over 30 seconds and they're they're making a point, yeah. which is not what music is about. Hey, you can make a point and that's great. Spotify sucks for artists. Yeah. We can all agree on that. I'm just saying music is like it's fun to listen to. And I'm guessing that album's not super fun to listen to. Hey, I don't know until I hear it. All right, whatever. The most bottle caps removed by a helicopter in three minutes. <laughs> What? So like it's flicking the cap off with the blades? There is a bottle opener attached to the thing that the helicopter sits on. What do you call them? 
those little legs. The little yeah, skis, the little legs. The the toboggan little things, yeah. Yes. Oh, so it's going, it's moving down and gr- picking them up. Yeah, there's a video. It's crazy. Wow, <laughs> kind of like Dwayne the Rock in San Andreas. Huh? Wow. I was picturing the blades just kind of like slapping the shit out of a billion bottles. <laughs> Me too. It's like the bottle cap challenge, yeah. but then you know. But it's going. Rah, rah. But this is like the the legs of the chopper clipping the bottles, which does seem quite tough. Yeah, that's, you have to be tactical as hell. Yeah. So this is kind of no cap too. Absolutely, Riley. <laughs> um, this seems like one like who cares though. I will say that. Yeah, like if you can already fly a helicopter, that's infinitely cooler than saying I opened the most bottles in three minutes while flying a helicopter. Just fly the helicopter. It's already cool. I'd like to see which helicopter pilot drank the most bottles before a successful flight. (laughs) Yep, I'd like to see that too. I'd like to see that. Can you get a DUI? Like, let's say you land on a runway and you're like... And like the TSA comes out or whatever. And yeah. they're like, that was a little sloppy. Absolutely. Do they give you a DUI? Yeah. Really? I think it's more than a DUI. I think really? they give you like, it's like bigger than that. Yeah. Well, let's say it's like a private plane. You're the only one in it. Yeah. Because like a car can run into another car. They're the only person driving it. They get a DUI. That's fine. Yeah. Helicopter runs into a building and all of a sudden. nine twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. 212? <laughs> I put 12. It is six. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 212. I don't know. Think I about that. I don't know. I, like, I, I, I don't know what it takes to operate a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> what if they were really good at it? <laughs> it's going down the line. That is stupid. What a stupid fucking waste of time and yep. gasoline and everything. It's like some shit the Mythbusters guys would do. <laughs> Those dudes seemed like they were alcoholics, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. They didn't seem like drunk scientists. Let's watch this thing explode into this thing, and then we'll watch it in slow motion. Yeah, <laughs> right after this six-pack. <laughs> this is the largest collection of rubber ducks. This is going to be huge. I can just <laughs> Oh, tell. yeah. They did, because there's some real freaks out there. Yeah. There's some real lunatics out there who love collecting things. Rubber ducks got to be top of that list, honestly. Yeah, it's a very, very collectible thing. Because if you're into that... There's plenty out there. There's so many out there, yeah. I would venture to say there are almost as many rubber ducks in the world as there are people. I'd say there's more. I don't think so. I think so. You ever been to a carnival? No. They've got those whole thing, like those rubber ducks. I've never been. I'm just ex- reference wouldn't work. I'm just explaining it to you. They have baby pools full of rubber ducks. And God, you that flip sounds one fun. over and then you see the thing on it and it gives you like a prize or whatever. It sounds fun. I'd like to go. They're fun as fuck. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Take me. No, I'm not taking you. I never I'm had not. dad. You have a dad. He hates the carnival though. He doesn't fuck with clowns. You know, platypuses kind of have a cloaca too. Do they really? Isn't that awesome? Makes sense. They seem part bird, right? Yeah, they have that egg. Yeah, they're part duck and part beaver. Yeah. So Now, do rubber ducks also have a corkscrew penis? I wouldn't ask stuff like that. Real ducks do. (laughs) I know. If they want to be accurate anatomically about rubber ducks. They'd give them a corkscrew cock. They'd give them a corkscrew cock, yeah. And some of them, not all of them would be yellow. Some of them would be that like green, brown, beige combo, the mallard. We should get into anatomical rubber duck manufacturing. I'm super into that. Okay, cool. I also think that we should remake the I Love New York shirts, but with an anatomical heart on them. (laughs) I hate that idea. You hate that idea? Why? Yeah, it's stupid. It doesn't have to say New York. It could say D-E, Detroit. Okay. Okay. Still hate it. Oh, <laughs> seemed on board for a second. <laughs> Three, two, one. 11,000. I went with 717,000. <laughs> yeah. This is 5,631 different ducks. Oh. So it had to be a different duck. So it doesn't, it's not just the individual duck. So I could be wrong. There probably are mallard rubber ducks out there. True. Probably some with corkscrew penises as well. Well, there's decoys that like hunters use and stuff. And those definitely got to have that cock. Yeah, totally. No way. Look at them. (laughs) They absolutely love it. And they've got all sorts of hats and fun. Uh, one of them looks like a penguin. Uh, can we can we investigate that one? One of them's a Statue of Liberty. Uh, one of them looks to be like a Grateful Dead rendition. One of them's Pikachu. One of them's President Reagan. This person is m- very ill. Or oh, I see a Barney one. I think they're cool. I don't like it. People who are fans of things are cool. Yeah, there's a difference between being a fan of something and having five thousand individual rubber duckies. I hope that someday somebody has five thousand rubber figurines of us. See, that's weird, man. That's a weird thing to hope for. I think it'd be really cool if they collected a bunch of rubber versions of us and put them all in their house. There's one of me wearing a funny hat. There's one of me dressed up like a scuba diver. 
<laughs> you know, there's one of me with like a Baltimore Orioles jersey on. Yeah, I don't know. And there's like one of you, and then there's one of Dignan, and there's one of Grant, and then there's a bunch more of me in different outfits. Yeah. There's me with flippers on. <laughs> Seems crazy. Separate creepy. from the scuba one. Yeah, why would that be separate? There's, uh, there's one where of me, but it's also, it's like I'm fused with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. A fused job. Yeah, they fuse <laughs> us up. You know, there's one of me as a child. There's one of me as an old man. You might imagine me looking like an old man about to die. Uh, there's one of me with cute nails on. I've got cute, my yeah. nails are on fleek. I get it, man. The options are endless. There's one of me auditioning for American Idol. It's yep. like a whole set <laughs> yeah. of me auditioning. Wow. There's one of Simon. There's one of Paula and one of Randy. They don't Clay. count. Clay Aiken, as not part included. Of, as part of the thing, they don't count because that's yeah. not a me. Right. You know? There's one of me as a Simpson. Yeah. Not OJ. Where you're yellow. There's one of me as OJ Simpson. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> There's one of me at the clam with Peter. Yep. I don't know, man. Seems like it could be cool. It does kind of seem cool. Me as an astronaut. Yeah, obviously. Me as the devil. Okay. What's the duck lady's name? Charlotte Lee. Charlotte Lee. Oh, any relation to Christopher Lee from the other question? Rest in peace. <laughs> She's got a lot of ducks. <laughs> It's the one. Yes, we're to the best yeah. part of the book. <laughs> yeah, best part of the book. Longest fingernails on a pair of hands. Is this in feet, inches, centimeters? This is in feet and inches. Okay, this guy was in the most recent Jackass, I believe. Or he was in the point five because I think they didn't know what to do with him. And they talk about that. They're like, we just wanted to get the guy. And then they make Steve-O drink a beer that they pour down the fingernails. Ah. And he throws up in front of them and he laughs. But I did learn that he keeps them in a bag. The nails kind of walk around with him in a big bag. This is a female. Oh, oh it's so there's like, there's competitors. So this is yeah. a woman. Because that's what I was going to say is like, is it the same guy from before? I feel yeah. like there's a lot of people are probably pretty inspired yes. by that book from when we were younger that now there's like a whole crew of people who are competing and getting measured every year and eating the right stuff to make their nails grow crazy fast. Look, it's carrots or cauliflower. It's like one of those that you have to eat to get them to grow faster. I don't know. I won't even look at a cauliflower. You don't like cauliflower? I had some the other day that was all right, but I've never had a piece of cauliflower and been like, damn, give me some more. That's crazy. That's like one of my faves. Ugh. I love cauliflower, man. You think God wants you to eat cauliflower? Wrong. Why? I mean, I don't think God cares God what I eat. does not want you to eat cauliflower. He wants you to eat steak. I don't think that's true. Chicken nugget. He wants you to eat all the animals he put here on earth. That's what God wants. Mm -hmm. Horse tongue. God wants you to eat his son's flesh <laughs> every Sunday and <laughs> drink his blood while you're at it. Yeah, that is a weird request. Yeah. I mean, hey. To each their own. I hope someday someone eats, someone eats, eats me every Sunday. Yeah. A little piece of my flesh every Sunday. <laughs> yeah. I hope they have a... Statue of me in their house. Jesus Dying Christ. on a cross. <laughs> you are wild, man. I just hope they do. You know what I mean? That's they will, buddy. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. 21 feet, 8 inches. I went with 5 feet, 6 inches. 42 feet and 10.4 inches. Yeah. About double what I put. Let me see these suckers. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wow. I, yeah, they're like wrapped around. They do like the thing, like the loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah. Those oh. are festive, though. I love that shit. Imagine getting slapped with one of those. Imagine doing coke off of one of those. <laughs> I actually know a guy who works in finance who might have this beat on just the pinky finger. <laughs> but <laughs> Sandra, give me another one. She's in the kitchen. <laughs> nice, a classic. The world's biggest pizza. <laughs> And what's this in circumference? Square meters. Square meters, well, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's an easy calculation for me. I've seen this failed a couple times, you know, like on yeah. TV, they get a, the whole community together and they're all kneading the dough and stuff and then they just fucking fail. Yeah, well, we all need dough these days. Inflation and whatnot. Whatever, man. Didn't Shane Dawson do this at Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Real ones will get that one. Chuck E. Cheese is a war criminal, and I'm not afraid to say it. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No. I watched him slaughter a village in Vietnam. Chuck E. Cheese was a sad orphan who didn't know his own birthday. And he loved celebrating birthdays so much that he would throw parties for all his friends. And he would sing happy birthday and had never heard it sung to him. Yeah, and then he got drafted no. in 1969. No, he didn't. The war was a wrap. No, he didn't. He was homeless in New York. He snuck into a kitchen. He lived in the back. And the owner of the restaurant that he was sleeping in the back in a kitchen found him, tried to kill him, and then he heard him sing and said, now wait a minute. And then he became the birthday singer. And then it became known as Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck Entertainment Cheese. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm just I'm being I am honest. I'm so sick of trying to tell you stuff. Well, you should be because that's the true story <laughs> no, it's of Chuck not. E. Cheese. <laughs> I was in the same platoon as him, me and Martin Sheen. Pull up Chuck E. Cheese origin story. I mean, I believe that, but why couldn't he gone to war during that time? 
Why are you so peeved? It would be on there. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. That's like a side quest. Killed a bunch of people in Saigon. I see. Yeah, so fill the void of hosting birthday parties for everyone else. I got it. He was an orphan. I see it. Big ass pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. 33. How about 800? 1,296.72 square meters. 33? Like, why? 33 is like this table. <laughs> You know, no, I totally know what a meter is. Look at that asshole. Looks like Andrew <laughs> Schultz. <laughs> Looks like an absolute prick and a half. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that guy. He's, he works for Pizza Hut too. He's yeah. got his he's he's got his hands in the dirty pockets of corporate pizza. <laughs> They it probably even look him out. good. No, it looks like shit. Oh, what a waste, too. He probably fucking rode his dirt bike through there like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Cheese getting spit up everywhere, and he's like, whoa. Nobody even showed up. Yeah, no. Nobody gives a shit. What it's a just dick. him and whoever works for Guinness. You know what? Good for Pizza Hut because their fucking restaurants suck. Yeah, facts. 13,000 pounds of dough. I hate this country. This guy looks like he's from Jersey. Wow. The world record for the longest stand-up comedy show by an individual. This had to have gotten bad at some point. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it was ever good. Somebody <laughs> who's setting this record, you're not setting it for most laughs. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Dane Cook. I think Dane Cook did try to do this. I think so. No one wants to listen to someone tell jokes for like two hours. Absolute max. I would watch two hours of a lot of my favorite stand-ups. Yeah, two hours. I'd watch three hours of some of them. I would not. I need arc. See, but it's like Bruce Springsteen goes out and does like three hours and 45 minutes. Different songs, different emotions. I guess like with comedy, you're not going to make me laugh the whole time. It better get dark for a good hour and a half of it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You're going to have to like bring me down to like your terrible childhood and then bring me back up and then make a few jokes about the president, do some crowd work, play Kino with me at the bar. You still have the microphone. That's not part of the show. It could be. It's inventive. So. I mean, it's cool, but it's definitely like- Kino's on, cool. I know, but it'd have to be on stage. I don't think they have Kino on most stand-up stages. It's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think it's a great idea. It's a fine idea, I'll say that. Okay, thank you. It's a fine idea. Three, two, one. 24 hours. 20 hours. 40 hours and eight minutes. This dude was on blow. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. 40 hours, you said? Yeah. Who was it? It was performed by some guy named the Midnight Swinger, <laughs> AKA David Scott. David Scott, huh? 40 hours of bullshit. I mean, maybe. Maybe the first hour was like fire. Yeah. <laughs> or like there's a magic hour in there after he's been up for 32, he gets slap happy, he just starts rolling in it. Like the 35th through the 36th hour of David Scott's 40 hour stand up is just gold. Well, it's gotta be all freestyling after like the first two hours too. Yeah. It's like, there's no way he memorized 40 hours of material. Yeah. Or this is just like a Guinness world record book asshole who like told a bunch of knock knock jokes for 10 hours. Oh yeah, probably like red stuff out of his wallet. Yeah. He's like looking through old shit. Oh, I got like, a business right. card here. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's this asshole. <laughs> oh gosh. No thanks. Nope. He looks like a fucking magician. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Ellen's older brother. Is he wearing two vests? Yeah, I gotta get what had to the get fuck? hot. Two had to vests? Get, oh, he's got like a timer behind him. This is a whole fucking hack job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Little hands, too. Yeah, I can't imagine he did a very good job. No. Last one. The furthest arrow shot using feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and guess that this was one of these jobs. <laughs> Yeah, classic foot job. Now this is the most unnecessary one we've seen today. I don't know, man. It's gonna be tough to beat that helicopter opening bottles. That's true. Yeah. And the giant pizza is like, I'd rather see someone do this than that fucking fake ass dude build a 75,000 tons of dough pizza or whatever. <laughs> pizza city. This is like, you know, you mix it in there with like aerial stunts and fire twirlers. And then you got someone who like shoots an arrow with their feet and it lands in their butthole or something. Yeah, maybe end off the day with like a David Scott special, you know? <laughs> <laughs> end off the next, the whole weekend, really. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gone this weekend. I'm seeing the next David Scott special. <laughs> what if next year they announce Coachella and it's just David Scott? The, For all of the whole Sunday. Time. No, the whole time. <laughs> the entire weekend is David Scott. Yes! <laughs> um, is this in feet or miles? <laughs> well, it's, it literally says using feet on it. Not everyone uses the metric system, Riley. Could be in well, Celsius. It's, not, it's literally not the metric system. <laughs> it could be in Celsius. <laughs> Whatever. Could be in liters. <laughs> Bet y'all wish you could watch me shoot an arrow with my feet, you sick, sick little freaks. They all want to see my feet. I hear it. Don't fucking flatter yourself. They don't want to see those stuff. Flatter myself. You want people to have 7,000 figurines of yourself and pictures of you crucified in the cross. 
and eat not your flesh. pictures of me. Whatever, actual. A crucifix yeah. type thing with me on it. And I say one thing about people wanting to see my feet, and I'm the fucked up one. Yeah, you're vain. You're vain, man. <laughs> I'm not vain. I want people I, to have cover their houses with little trinkets that look like me. Different outfits. It's cute and funny. It's I can't, a funny do, little I can't, thing. I can't do it anymore. It's cute and funny. I can't do it anymore. You're gaslighting me. People want to see your feet? Okay, you sick freak. See, man, <laughs> where's the room for me to get off? Well, that's the point. The feet thing, you're implying something sexual. Me, there's nothing sexual about worshiping me and having little <laughs> statues around my house. You've <laughs> never jacked off to the crucifix with Jesus on it. I didn't say anything about that. Oh. And I actually refused to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. You're just hard, man. You're hard on me. I'm hard on you? You want figurine. I can't have feet porn pictures. I don't want figurine. I want them to have figurine. <laughs> I want to get, like, beautification surgery for my feet. Make them hunky. Really? Why not? No one's ever done that. I could be a Guinness World Record. Straighten them out. Make my toes a little sexier, a little curvier. They do those, those feet injections. You haven't heard about that? No. Big heels. That's a thing people are into nowadays. They want huge honking heels. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like basically a BBL. But for your heels. But for your heels. Yeah. Some people like have like that. a huge, like the Juicy heels are like heel. way bigger. And then they want a thin middle part like this. Oh. Like it's super thin. It's like an middle. hourglass shape. Hourglass shape. <laughs> yeah. But like yeah. even like, it's like a top heavy. It's exactly. Actually bottom heavy yeah. hourglass. And then the top like that. And then they want um little bumps above that. Nice. Kind of like, you know? <laughs> yeah, people are super into it. Not me though. I would like to see that. I don't want to see anything like that. Okay. Feet are not my thing, man. They just aren't. Right in the middle on feet. Right. Sometimes they're gross. Sometimes they are hot. Sure. I haven't seen your feet in a long time. Yeah, I don't really take those puppies out. <laughs> it's been years <laughs> since I've seen you barefooted. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that. It's weird. You hiding something? No. Yeah. I'm not, okay. I'm not hiding anything. You seem nervous. I'm not hiding anything. Don't Show me you right now. Don't dare get anywhere near my feet. <laughs> okay, fine. You don't want to get a pedicure tomorrow? On me? It's tempting. <laughs> but no, I will abstain. Okay. Three, two, one. 911 feet. <laughs> 387 feet? 59 feet, 11 inches. Way more than we, like way less than we yes. thought. We were over, we were, we were overestimating this person. Yeah, we were. Hey now. <laughs> Whoa. That's not what I expected. I, I thought it was going to be a completely different form. Yeah. I thought we were, we were going, we were going like a, on their back, kind of yeah. cockroach position, you know? And, yeah, this uh, is awesome. No, that looks artful as hell. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like anybody's tried to break it in like a hundred years. This looks old as shit. Her elbow looks broken though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. It seems like you have to be a contortionist as just a prerequisite for this sort of thing. Circus freak. You probably have to be more flexible than you would have to be a good archer. Yeah, I don't think this is about accuracy. Right? Not at all. No. In fact, this probably hit a kid. Yeah. <laughs> It would have gone further, but it hit some kid in the forehead. I'd love to do the fake, you know, how they used to hit the apple off someone's head. Yeah. I'd love to, like, incorporate it at a live show or something. It seems like it's me there with an apple on a head, and the person just drills me in the eye. <laughs> and I walk out, and I'm like, why is everyone freaking out? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. Cool. Well, good for them. Barnum and Bailey or something? Circus freak? Famous circus lady? Australian woman. Australian woman. <laughs> uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace to her. And Christopher Lee, and, and the, the oldest, oldest woman, lady. and also the woman who had a million kids. Yeah. A lot of people from today's game have died, and that's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> but they will live forever or until someone breaks their record yeah, in that then... book that everybody gets at the Scholastic Book Fair. Yep. If you want us to do this game again, let us know or send some wacky records over to DJ Grant and uh, comment the world record you think we could break down Please. in the comment section. Please. We are searching for one that seems easy for us. Yeah. All right. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe. Also, I did not say at the beginning, Graydon, would you like to leave one for people some advice to live in love the eyes? Bye. Two wrongs don't make a right. That's true. <laughs> All right. This has been High Mind Unlimited. Blah, blah, blah. Ah! Get out of here. <laughs> get. Go on, get. I'm Mr. Beast, and today I'm gonna be pissing on someone's hat. <laughs> hey, old chap, let me see that cat. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking a whiz. What's it look like I'm doing? I had seven points. All right, I'm almost done. Here you go. Yeah. That's a crude British Mr. Beast. Ah, oh, whatever, it's Mr. Beast. Today, I'm giving away seven million quid. Whoever can eat the most beans out of this kettle. Hey, British Mr. Beast here. Last person to take their hand off this blood sausage wins 5,000 pounds. Little bit less than my other videos, but I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I'm putting cocktail weenies on bottle rockets and shooting them at old people. What's this whistling willy go? <laughs> British Mr. Beast here, and yes, I am still out of ideas. Today we're going to be playing strip poker with the sidemen. <laughs>
I'm introducing London to a little American fair. Today, I'll be doing a drive-by shooting on a double-decker bus. <laughs> Come on! Mr. Beast, back with another episode. Today we're gonna see which member of Coldplay can do the most ketamine. <laughs> I'm digging up the Queen's bones. I don't care who stands in my way. Ha <laughs> ha! I have more money than God. <laughs> Well, hello again, it's British Mr. Beast. Today we're dressing James Corden up like Adele and Adele up like James Corden. <laughs> Who's gonna be able to tell the difference? We'll see. It's a classic flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs>